Hello friends! Here is another highly requested aqua aerobic workout for beginners or really anyone who just feels like trying something easier for once. I will guide you through some best and most effective water exercise that will guarantee to challenge your endurance, strength, balance as well as flexibility. You can incorporate water dumbbells or aqua gloves to feel the challenge faster and enjoy the results sooner. Links to my affiliate store where you can buy all of it are linked in the description. Let's splash! Ready? I love water. I love the sound of it. And I love being near the water. Or on the water. But most of all, I enjoy being in the water and working out and convincing you to work out with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Find me on Facebook. Are you ready for another great workout? I hope you are. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna begin slowly with high knees, one at a time, it's low impact. So on your exhale, just curl your knee up and try move your knee to the water surface. Move your arms out and in, turning your palms backwards and forward. Notice I'm using no equipment for a warm up. We're gonna get there later. Start turning around. Look around. What's happening? <laughs> good. Turn around again. Take your time. Make sure you're looking good. Chest up, belly in, shoulders back and away from ears. Yeah, one leg grounded until now when we start skipping. And here, you're gonna start paying a little more attention to your feet and make sure you are rolling your toes slowly down and then your heel is touching the ground last. That's important because we need those tiny muscles that surround our ankles to be warm up. Continue pushing the water back and forward, but don't put too much pressure yet, okay? We're gonna take our time at this point. Keep going. All right, and finally adding a little bit more splash. You'll be pushing those palms backwards and splashing water out. And you want to see it. You want to definitely feel how much strength you need to drag your palms back. But then, yes, whatever is behind you is getting splashed pretty hard. Next exercise. It's actually what we just did. You continue with your high knees. Good. Keep your nice posture and start turning back the other way. All around. Don't forget about your arms. Yep, still warming them up. One leg at a time. One foot is grounded. We're just getting ready for those high impact moves. Or whichever workout you're going to blend with this one. Some of my workouts uh, have very short warm-ups and for that reason I decided to create a couple combos that you can save to your favorite in your playlist and use it whenever you need it. Skip again, skip A, high knees going on. Good stuff. Keeping those palms below the surface, you can now start scooping it in a little bit more, right? So you're gonna go a little deeper and then kind of scoop it up toward the surface. The best water level for aqua aerobics would be somewhere around your chest. Now you're gonna bring your arms up and with pretty dynamic tempo, you're gonna circle them back and then cross it over, push it out. That feels good. Keep going, right? Targeting back muscles and then you're gonna again circle your arms. 
forward. Yep, let's switch things up. Jump out and what a wave, power wave from side to side. Yes, make sure your fingertips are linked. You are dragging this big chunk of water from one side to another one. Pay attention to your leg position and use your leg strength. Notice heels move off the bottom right here, right? So the power of this movement comes from your entire body, not just your arms. Don't make it too easy for yourself, okay? Keep your core very much engaged. Good, skip A again, and you continue pushing those arms back. What? We're gonna turn around, why not? Let's have a little fun. Love turning around. Warm up must be fun. It must encourage you for more, right? You're gonna need more. And I'm gonna link an awesome video with this one. You can do it or you can, again, pick any other video. Okay, here's your other exercise, one knee at a time or skip. And we're gonna do, we're gonna move arms up and down like so. Good one to target upper back muscles. Step to the side, heel back. This exercise you quite often see in many of my videos during warm up because it's so good and it's targeting back of our body which we know needs to be ready to continue step to the side heel back hamstrings good morning warm up keep splashing water out that also gonna warm up back of your arm tricep baby tricep you can move forward and backwards with this one if you wish or you can turn around notice I'm not hopping side to side yet I want to keep it all in low impact so one of my feet is touching the ground it makes a difference love it let's do a couple more I don't recommend we use any equipment for our warm-up. Skip, 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 high knees. And again, you have that option, one leg at a time. Same arm moves, one up, one down. Work on a big range of motion here, okay? Imagine there's a wall behind you. You wanna push that one hand up and back toward the wall. Belly in, chest up, looking amazing. Step to the side, heel back. Let's do it again. And here's your other version of this one. Skip B, kicking our boom boom. Yeah, that's where the B comes from, <laughs> right? So we are curling heels back, a little more powerful movement, so much fun. Or you can switch to low impact, right? So you pick one or another one. And you can alternate those. Oh boy, so many possibilities. This one is super splashy. It's great for summer. It's great if you work out with someone, splash them a little bit, get them ready for more. Keep going, keep going. Feeling those glutes and hamstrings getting a little warmer. Ready for what? I don't know. I don't know which workout you're gonna pick next. Maybe something with kicks, whichever you pick. I promise your whole body will be ready for it. Put some more strength to those arm moves. Come on, keep splashing it out. Turn around, move forward, move backwards. If you work out with someone, maybe you guys gonna switch spots for a little bit. Yeah, it's hard to switch spots. I know we all have our favorite ones. <laughs> Lunch position. And we're gonna do power waves. You'll see this one from the other camera in a moment, right? Keeping those feet pretty stable and dragging water back and forward. Actually dragging our arms back and forward and waving the water. Love this one, guys. You're really gonna feel how inside of your body is getting challenged. Good stuff for back muscles, for deep muscles. I mean, Nothing like this we can feel when we work out on land, right? 
Yep, it's just reserved for water workouts. That's why we all love them so much. Keep going, keep going. I need you to see that water motion. Couple more, couple more. Keep on going, keep on going. And then you're gonna start curling your knee up and then pushing your toe back. And you're gonna turn around at your piece, easy and slow. Arms are now drawing like a circle motion. Big one, keep going. This one is so much fun. Are you having fun, guys? I hope you do. All right, kick and touch down. Kick and touch down. Nice and low kick first. Kick, touch, down. Kick, touch, down. Don't kick too high. But make sure they fast and funky. And leave some energy for subscribing to my channel if you have not yet. Switch leg and continue with power waves. Front and back and front and back. Yes, your entire body will stabilize here. Mm-hmm. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. This is a moment where you also need to kind of oxidize your body, right? Let the fresh air to enter your body so you can burn calories more effectively. And by the way, we don't care about our breathing later on in the day. So once we work out, let's pay a little bit of attention to how we do it. I feel so good. Keep going. Breath into the nose. Exhale out through your mouth with challenge. Yes, you hear it. You feel it. Good stuff. Keep going. And again, circle our moves. Knee curls. Love it. Good morning, apps. Turn around. It's a dancing app warm up. Big range of motion. That's what's quite important during a warm up. Kick and touch down. Boom, touch down. Make it funky. Kick. Yeah, add a little bit of your flavor. Shake your head, shake your booty, whatever makes you feel good about doing this particular move. Come on. Freestyle. Very cool. Couple more kicks. Round and back, stay in line. And eventually we're gonna take a deep breath into the nose and move on to the actual part of this workout. Yeah, so get yourself ready mentally. Step touch is our first exercise. And guys, we're gonna have plenty of repetitions of each. I promise it'll be fun, it'll be worth it. If you are new on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button first. Stay in line, you go sideways. Notice how feet are very close to the bottom of the pool. You do not wanna actually miss the resistance curling your knees up. We'll do all of that later. Right now, inner thighs and out thighs. You'll be helping yourself with your arms and you can either scoop your hands to the side or open them out just like you see me doing right now. But definitely you don't want to add any jumps because while it feels you're doing more, you actually are taking away from the exercise when you add bounce. So keep it in low impact. Feel that those muscles surrounding your ankles are actually pushing you sideways. So it's a pretty big step. Step touch. Belly in, chest up, shoulders relaxed, back and away from ears. Your position matters, right? Because the beautiful position engages so many muscles and that's why I'll be reminding you about it all the time. Second exercise, L step. So you continue with step side to side, but then you're also gonna turn sideways. So you go to your right, forward you come back exactly the same way 
and with your hands again you are just making sure the step is long enough and pretty much precise enough and yes you still keep the belly in <laughs> my fingertips are linked there's a lot of moves in a wrist area and that's important because in another segment we will start using aqua dumbbells today and these muscles have to be ready for them when we hold weights the muscles surrounding wrists are really really contracted for a long time so if you give them a chance now to kind of get used to a little bit of challenge we respond so much better to what's coming next all right let's take the L step to the other side and again I need you to pay attention and make sure you kind of uh, stay in line and draw L step right or almost like half of the square yep real good exercise and this one can be done not just in the water definitely on land if you want to do a little bit of side to side steps L step is fun keeps it entertaining good addition to your daily walks maybe because again you're gonna target inside of your body outside of your body inner thighs out thighs with walk it's probably mostly gonna be front and back so why wouldn't we pay attention to you know adding something to balance all those muscles and again anything you do with your hands is fine notice that I'm exercising today uh, with the water level somewhere below my chest you can probably be a little bit deeper but not too deep though okay because you guys need to feel your feet are grounded next exercise number three we're gonna do knee curl repeaters and now this is a little more stable exercise look I'm not pulling my knee forward I'm curling my heel back yes this one is for hamstring hamstring is a group of muscles located behind your knee and above your knee right below your glutes and above your knee and this is important to warm it up and to pay attention to it as well by the way guys this is my second workout uh, that I did for beginners I will link the first one at the end so make sure you save those two to your favorites if you are at this fitness level or you like this particular one make sure you switch them back and forward don't do the same one over and over again once this video gets 100 likes I promise I will add part three switch side and continue with your repeaters belly in keep that foot stable grounded on the bottom don't bounce no bouncing yet we'll get there and huge arm moves really really be particular with that range of motion especially during the first moments of the class we still don't have dumbbells we can still really create that resistance adding the right tempo and really keeping good range of motion don't you feel you guys that you can do aqua forever like every day that's how I feel when I <laughs> do water exercise all right number four twist into the opposite knee and again we'll begin with low impact so we have step and you're gonna open up this knee to the side and you're gonna do a slight torso rotation to touch your knee from the outside well you can upgrade this and touch your heel or you can jump over like so right so add a little bit of the jump and twist jump and twist you can also add motion right heading backwards and then heading forward see how that works for you I like to move backwards in low impact maybe for four maybe for eight it's all up to you depending how much space you have available for today and then heading forward I will be adding that jump it's very tempting to add a little bit of jumping but not always high impact exercise in the water are better for you and not always they are more effective quite often they are actually less challenging for your body so make sure you try a little bit of everything 
This exercise is great for core, great for glutes, inner thighs, out thighs. Your arms are also working. You can definitely incorporate aqua gloves with this one to add a little bit more challenge. I will link in the description uh, where you can get best aqua gloves and dumbbells if you don't have any of those yet. Keep your belly in. How about if we turn around? Yeah, let's make it funky. The only thing, guys, I want you to avoid with this exercise, actually few, but definitely don't bend forward, okay? Keep your back straight. Those shoulders stay above hips at all times. So there is a slight rotation. We need to make sure it's safe by engaging those deep core muscles that are attached and surrounding your spine, okay? These muscles have to kind of create a rotation and they won't let you go too far out. We just need small. It's good stuff, you know, turn around the other way. I feel like dancing today. And we are finishing up this exercise and I'll show you so much more, guys. If you want, head for a quick water break. Make sure you stay hydrated. In a water we don't feel, but we do sweat and we need to drink water. Go ahead, grab those aqua dumbbells now. We are ready for more. Well, let's do Number five, step touch, this time with aqua dumbbells. Ooh, vertical position, palms facing each other, dumbbells below the surface. They kind of copy your leg move, so you open them out, close with step touch, and then you do it again. Stay in line, step and touch, step and touch. Love it. And this is one of the example of the exercise, which is low impact. What I mean by that is you are not jumping. Instead, you are pushing one leg away from the other one. But one foot is always to be touching the bottom of the pole. You wanna go heel to toe with this exercise with your toes pointed forward. I know it may seem a little more challenging when you have jump, but trust me, it's not. Right here, you actually are targeting those muscles way better. Number six, we will be tapping toe aside and you're gonna really engage your core and make sure your shoulders stay square with your hips as you do it, right? So you don't want your torso to swing sideways. It's just your toes tapping out and at the same moment, you're gonna open up your arms, line them up and then squeeze in. Make sure your arms are fully extended to the side and then forward as you bring them in. Possibly, you try to keep dumbbells in a water, maybe top dumbbell, top part of the dumbbell be, you know, picking above. Move on to side lift, that's number seven. And again, use your core and glutes to lift up this leg a little higher. Keep your other foot stable down on the bottom of the pool. Love this one, such a challenge. Great for posture, great for abs. Make sure you're looking good, nice position, shoulders back and away from ears, and just breathe, yes. Open up your chest, and this breathing should feel way, way better and more comfortable by the same time. At the same time, switch leg and top it out. Here we go. Make sure you are touching the floor with your toe. You are not shifting your body weight to your left toe now, right? Your right foot is grounded. That's what your body weight needs to stay. The more you open those arms, the more I proud will be of you. Keep going. Tempo is not important here. I need you to do good with this exercise, with pretty much this routine, okay? We are learning how to do all those moves properly first. And then if you decide you want challenge, faster moves, you're gonna find another workout. Lift, everybody, keep going, lift it up, yes. Feel that challenge, work on that range of motion. Have fun with it. To the side. Out thighs, inner thighs, glutes, abs, back, 
chest. Look how many muscle groups are you working right now. Good stuff. Keep going. All right, number eight, aqua jacks. Now both of your legs and arms are jumping out and in, okay? So you wanna synchronize your leg and arms together. Notice I'm not bouncing up too much. The magic happens below the surface. If you are a little deeper, you're probably better off. I need to kind of, you know, squat a little bit. So my shoulders are in the water. And then as I bring my dumbbells in, look, I'm pushing them forward as well, okay? So you don't wanna bring them close to your chest because we wanna feel back and chest getting a workout. Keep going. I need you to use all your strength here. Keep your core engaged. Breathe along, exhaling with the hardest move. Out and in. Yeah, you can choose to move forward and backwards when you do aqua jacks. You can turn around. I pretty much turn around so you could see how it's done from every angle. But if you guys have more fun doing it, absolutely go for it. Our routines must be fun so we can come back to them more often and don't feel like we have to, rather we want to, yes? Good set, you guys. Number nine, alternate back toe taps with front push. You know this exercise already. It's also low impact, so one foot grounded on the bottom. Gonna push them out. Look, it's horizontal position, so palms facing down. I need good range of motion. I need your core to be engaged and belly in. And you're gonna exhale with the push. They so go, exhale, push. Stay in line. No diagonal moves, it's straight line back. There we go. Keep going. Possibly you want dumbbells below the water, and but not too deep, okay? Chest or shoulder level is all what we need, okay? Don't go too deep because we'll get there later, okay? Push and exhale. Good. Is your core still engaged? Make sure it is. Work at your own pace. Remember, anything I'm showing to you is just the idea for your workout, but you can choose your tempo and work in your own pace. Start pushing those dumbbells down. Hello, beautiful arms. Upper back, that's number 11. Push it down. Yes, getting ready for those aqua push-ups almost, right? Your tops look identical. Stay in line, push your toe back, come back to starting position. Make sure you don't bend forward too much, okay? You lean forward just a tiny bit, but also you're gonna look straight ahead. Number 11, toe taps, and you're gonna open up your arms out and in. Weights in a vertical position again, possibly in the water. Drag them out, squeeze it in. Oh boy. We guys gonna have upper body exercise definitely covered for a day or two. <laughs> Choose something for your legs the other day. Or you can check my core workout, which I will link at the end. And I'm also gonna link part one of this uh, beginner's workout so you can switch back and forward and maybe have your favorite. Let me know if you want more. I'm sure you are getting a lot of great ideas from this video itself. Continue, continue, open and close. Remember, those weights stay away from you at all times. No matter where you go, out or in, push them forward. If you're feeling chest and back, you're probably doing right. Number 12, moving on, everybody. Moving up to kicks. 
Now with these kicks, I need you to be careful. I only want you to kick somewhere around your knee level first. See how that feels. Add that front push. Only then, when you feel like you got the balance, you're doing fine, you can start kicking a little bit higher, but be careful so you don't overarch your lumbar spine. It is very common. I want you to stay in low impact for now, okay? So again, you're switching your feet on the bottom of the pool rather than jumping over. Keep going. All right, and moving on, number 13, alternate back kicks, and we start pushing dumbbells a little bit deeper. Make sure you don't bend at your wrists, okay? Keep your forearms in a neutral position. It should feel pretty comfortable, right? Challenging for arms, but nothing too uncomfortable for wrist. And by the way, this is a good moment to mention that aqua dumbbells come really in different shapes and sizes, and sometimes even the grip. Uh, makes such a difference so always always shop around make sure you find the one that works for you and also check the affiliate store in the description these are dumbbells that I highly recommend and you can get those as well number 14 we're gonna open and close those arms and continue our back kicks and there's a little bit more going on right now right with the motion vertical position so again double check if those back kicks are still looking good keep squeezing those glutes but don't over arch your lower back belly in i like to stay around my knee level and that feels good and i'm really feeling that those postural muscles are getting a workout that's all we need from these Well done, everybody. We're going to move on number 15, aqua jog. Arms up and down for eight. So you're going to press, hold them under the water, jog it for eight, and then lift them up. Keep them above the water at your shoulder level or a little higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it down, belly in, and then down and up. obviously we could do it for five for how many counts we want to but I decided to start with eight and then we're gonna go a little bit faster not everyone likes to move arms above the water but I find those moves very fun and challenging as well after all we guys have to function on land not in the water so every now and then we have to strengthen those muscles and really deal with gravity, not just water resistance. Good, strong arms. Wrap up those arms in your muscles and then press and hold. Elbows soft. Good, and now a little bit faster, number 16. So down one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna let them float and move above the surface for four. Or you can of course go for two, right? So you can go two down, and two up yeah pretty style have fun with this down and up down and up good start lifting those knees a little bit higher this is high knee jog this is where we want to target those abs and move hard way up a little bit every single day we try to do at least 15 minutes of cardio but we can squeeze more than that that would be fabulous. So in this workout, you definitely have the minimum recommended. Notice how much you have to engage your core every time you are submerging arms under the surface. Use those muscles there, feel it, right? I need you to understand exactly what each exercise gives you that's important because then we can focus on this particular muscle group and we feel it better number 17 aqua jogging with suitcase press imagine you are holding two suitcases 
don't you love it holding two big suitcases no i know you don't but in a water it's a little bit more fun so let's work those arms push it down push and press good palms facing each other feel free to move around turn around go crazy with it <laughs> Notice there's not much of bouncing going on. Yes, those dumbbells are bouncing up and down, but we really don't. Right? So it's your knees, your feet moving up and down, but the top of your head moves only maybe one inch, maybe even less, depending how good you are at stopping the bounce. <laughs> Of course, you can switch to sprint, right? And you can go twice as fast. Yeah, if you feel you have that energy going on, do it. I decided to keep that easier today. I know a lot of newbies are joining me today, so I'm going to take it easy. But if for any reason you're doing it, if you are not a beginner or you again, you have that energy, sprint. Go for it. Next exercise, we're gonna do big circle with our leg. I'm gonna begin with my right. This is our number 18. Notice I'm keeping my other foot grounded on the bottom of the pool, very stable position. The bigger the circle, the better. And if for any reason you need to modify, just slightly bend your knee in decrease range of motion. You can also place one hand on the side of the pool, holding dumbbells out like this is pretty much next level so again consider placing your hand on a side of the pool maybe holding a lap lane if lifeguards are not watching <laughs> because they don't like when we pull lap lanes at least not where i am <laughs> but again not holding lap lane or wall forces more of your muscles to be challenged and we are improving our balance skills so much faster this way you shouldn't be doing this at the very deep water level though number 19 cross so this is a great exercise for pretty much entire body it's important that when you rotate you rotate through your knees so watch my heel how it moves off the ground, of the bottom, and I rotate my knees from right to left, right? This rotation has to come from knees, core engaged, arms are working hard, horizontal position, and yes, definitely below the surface. Breathe out with every single cross. Again, don't twist your wrist, don't bend at your wrist, keep it neutral. And then you're gonna switch leg and you're gonna do the same circle with your other leg, left. Quite often it's actually gonna be easier for you doing left side because your right side, for many of us, is a little stronger, it's a little better balance. So you probably struggle on the other side and now you just put a big smile on your face and you are like, I got this. Going big, big, big circle. Yeah, if you can move your toes above the surface, that would be very, very nice of you. on we also have cross that's number number 20 but this time double cross so that's twice as good as the exercise before you're gonna push it and push again push pull and push again notice this elbow comes back towards your ribs before you punch again yeah so you don't want to go just like chum chum tiny one inch no you really pull it back before you hit it again and that is how we are really targeting those arms. 
still rotation comes from where? From our knees. Palms facing down, neutral rest. We keep going. I need you to really feel those arms tomorrow. Submerge dumbbells below the surface. That's why we got this going on in a pool, yes? All right, I'm ready to show you next exercise. Are you ready? This is jackpot 21, water walk forward. All right, step by step, and then what? We're gonna jump backwards with a scooping movement coming from our arms, like so. Both feet up, and then you're gonna walk again. Each step is very, very long. So now you can obviously do entire lap lane length if you want. I need to stay where my cameras are, so I will probably do like four to five steps forward and a couple scoops back. But you guys go for it. If you have more space, go there. We have a lot of time for this exercise because I'm loving it. And still hopping and walking and guys enjoying that's almost it for today's workout I'm just gonna have one more exercise for you today but we're gonna finish this one first I just want to give you a heads up that I need this last one to be more dynamic than our walk and our hops just to again kind of you know build up the moment have a little bit of good water massage and the lymphatic massage the water offers when we move around so it's gonna be fast we won't be using any equipment we actually gonna you know come back slowly put dumbbells away and get ready to move the heart rate up one more time okay If you wish, you can take a quick water break ahead of time. And here we go, side kick, it's actually roundhouse kick. After you kick, you're gonna cross your feet behind. So very dynamic kicks. I need you to be as fast as you can be right here. Only use your hands to kind of, you know, kick better, stabilize your position better, and exhale with every move. Each kick is going as close to water surface as possible. On your exhale, kick it, kick it. And I'm sure you feel how this water is massaging your legs, your thighs. Good, take a little break, deep breath into the nose and switch side, keep going. Same tempo, same range of motion. Using core strength to lift up this knee higher. And notice I'm lifting up my knee before and also after a kick, right? So you're gonna curl the knee in after a kick, tuck it in. Try a little bit faster, okay? Again, last seconds, last minutes really, and you don't have to hold back anymore. Because after that, we're just gonna stretch and cool down and relax and um, be very, very proud of 
completed workout. Good job. Take another deep breath into the nose and exhale. You're gonna now curl your knee and without touching the ground, you tuck your knee in and out, in and out. So not coming back to the bottom of the pool anymore. Side kick, knee curl, side kick, knee curl. Flex your foot this time. You're gonna be kicking with your heel to the side. Imagine there is a target on your side that you wanna kick and switch side. Maintain the same dynamic tempo. There's a little bit of that torso rotation here going on and that's good because this helps us to remove any toxins from our bodies. So that's why I always remind you about water breaks so we can then flush those toxins away and feel good and be healthy, have strong immune systems. Ooh, catch a breath. Yes, you need that, right? All right gonna do more keep going get back to your left kick and curl kick and curl with your hands you are kind of scooping the water towards your knee this exercise will really boost your metabolism for the next couple minutes Ooh, give it a good splash and switch side. Yes. Having fun? Guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this workout. It's coming to an end. You're gonna deserve a good, good break and some healthy meal today, okay? Final seconds, scoop it in, kick to the side, maintain that level. Still going, still going. I'm just slowing down for you so I can give you a heads up that those are the last and maybe most important seconds. And we did it, guys. Splash it out and get ready for side bend. We are cooling down and stretching. Place one hand on the wall, feet hip width apart, reach up feel your whole body getting stretched and longer spine decompressed now you're gonna place one foot on your knee and squat down and just allow your arm to float and your breath get more comfortable And then you're gonna place your left leg up on the wall. Bring your arms over the head, elbows back to ears, and then fold it forward. Don't worry if you can't touch your toes, okay? Maybe you just place your hands on your knee. You're still gonna feel a good stretch on the back of your legs, right? That's all we need. So do not bend your knee because you wanna touch your toes, okay? That's not the purpose of this exercise. It's just to feel the stretch. So if you feel it sooner, fine. Now you're gonna bend your knees, but now I need you to push your hips toward the wall because now it's a different muscle being stretched. Drop your leg down, place both feet on a wall and your hands are holding the wall. It's, you look like spider man or spider woman. <laughs> and just stay in this position. You can swing your body weight from one side to another one if you want, or just stay like this, V on a wall. Toes pointed up. Good, and now you're gonna switch side, okay? For the side bend, make sure you now do the other side. Side bend, reach up and over. Keep reaching up, longer, 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 longer stretch. One leg squat again, placing your toes on your other knee, allowing the knee to open up. Good stretch for glutes. And then you're placing your opposite leg up on the wall. 
skin it doesn't have to go above the surface just find your comfort zone for this stretch place your hands on your knee feel the stretch or bend forward a little bit more be patient with your body guys flexibility is something that we are born with and we either decide to keep it or we neglect and we lose flexibility but the good thing is we can always gain it back we just have to take it easy and be patient and it's important that we actually include stretch every single day now start pressing your heels down to the bottom of the pool just swing from one heel to the other one good calf stretch Guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout. I had so much fun making this video for you. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more workouts for beginners. Maybe you have some newbies joining your aqua classes, aqua fun routines. Let me know and maybe part three will pop on the channel soon. Thank you so much for joining me for your support. Don't forget to like it subscribe and share with your friends yeah invite everyone to join us guys i'm linking uh, the affiliate store where you can buy all the great aqua gear don't forget to check that out and have a wonderful day bye bye Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the frame blur out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me